Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and what we're going to be looking at now is actually uh, some beta sprites. Uh, so, if you didn't know about this, uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl's beta sprites were leaked onto the internet a few days ago. Um, and I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and go through them and basically see what they look like. I wanted to find a website that had them listed, but I couldn't find one. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually just watch this video. I'm going to have a link to it in the description. Uh, if you want to check it out, go ahead, go down there and, you know, look at it there. But what we're going to do is uh, look at it, and I'm going to stop and give you my thoughts on some of the uh, sprites. Uh, so right off the bat, you see here, uh, Turtwig looks pretty much the same. Uh, but what we're going to see is Grottle, um, instead of having, like, two bushes, has, like, two entire trees. Uh, maybe saplings on his back. Now we also have Torterra here, which has a totally different look to it. Um, it looks totally different. A lot of these Pokemon you're going to notice has more of like a, like it looks like they were made in Microsoft Paint. Um, and this one totally has that look. Um, I just think it's so cool seeing how some of these uh, sprites have changed. Uh, we go to Chimchar, who's the same. Monferno, I think, looks mostly the same. I don't think, I don't remember, but in the actual game, is it like sitting in that pose? I do notice some of the colors do seem off. Um, it looks a little more saturated than the final version. I'm not totally sure, though. Um, and then Infernape pretty much looks the same. Uh, we got, uh, okay, so here we are at uh, Prinplup. Uh, it looks quite different, uh, and and Polion's the same. Uh, so yeah, we've got a few of these Pokemon that look exactly the same as their final form. Um, no changes. Uh, let's go ahead and just oh, the next one, Shinx here. Um, <clears throat> Shinx looks pretty different. It's got like a tuft of fur on its head that's a different color. I think. I think in the final form it has a tuft of fur, but it's the same color as the rest of its fur. Um, then we got Luxray, who looks pretty much the same, just different coloring. Um, and then we have a long list of ones that look pretty much the same. Cranidos here uh, has... It, it looks quite different. Um, I notice the color of its skull goes down across its back. I think that's totally different. Uh, than in the final form, but Rampardos is the one that, look at this thing, this is such a hilarious looking Pokemon, um, I'm glad that they changed it, um, because this thing, it looks like it's, it's cricked its neck trying to get in that position, uh, I think the Rampardos we've got now actually looks a lot better, um, than this form of Rampardos, uh, and then there's some more, you know, similar Pokemon, uh, Combi is the next one I want to look at, uh, this thing, I mean, it, instead of having, it looks more like uh, the faces are concaved instead of convex. Um, they go into the comb instead of popping out. Uh, that's really the main difference. It's got, like, lips, too, which is, makes it look odd. Uh, but Vespaquin here, let's look at Vespaquin. Yeah, this thing looks quite different. Um, it's got different coloring and everything. Uh, but then we have a list of, you know, Pokemon that look exactly as their final form. Um, we got Gastrodon. Well, uh, Gastrodon, if you notice, the back sprite looks different than the front sprite. It does not match up. Uh, I think what they found out is this back sprite right here is actually a back sprite that was originally intended for Ruby and Sapphire. Because Gastrodon, if you didn't know that... Uh, was a Pokemon that was intended for a Ruby and Sapphire, and they ended up holding it off just so they could put it into Diamond and Pearl. Uh, so this back sprite is what it would have looked like, but they went ahead and changed it to what we see as the front sprite. Um, so some more that just look the same, pretty much. That back sprite looks really bad there. As you can see, like the front sprite looks fine, but the back sprite looks bad. I think that tells us a little bit on how they uh, go about designing the Pokemon. Um, what they would do is probably just go into something like really quick like Microsoft Paint and just throw together some looks, you know, and then later on, you know, deal with the shading and coloring and uh, different stuff like that. Um, yeah, we just go through some more that look pretty much, you know, 
pretty much the same as their final form. Uh, Bronzong looks a little bit different. It's like its eyes are different, I think. I think its eyes are different. Yeah, they're like really shining in that one. So we're going to fast forward to uh, some of them that are totally different here. Um, is This is Gibble. This is Gibble. This right here is Gibble. That looks nothing like Gibble. I mean, it's got, you know, the, some of the similar ideas, like a, a fin on its head. But that's basically all that it's got that it shares with Gibble. Uh, here we have Gabite, which um, that looks nothing like Gabite in the final game. Um, and I do think it's interesting that Gibble and Gabite were at one time quadrupeds. Uh, but we go to Garchomp, and I want to I want to call this thing I want to call this thing Derp Chomp because look at this thing it looks so derpy. Uh, what's it gonna do? Just poke you with its little little pokers there? Um, you can see like what looks like scythes or what or wanting to be scythes, but they look more like you know tiny little. Think, man, this Garchomp looks so pitiful. I'm glad they went with the design that they did because this look of Garchomp, ugh. I do notice, you know, the coloring is more like dragon. You know, uh, a lot of Pokemon that are ground types have like a brownish color to them, and this one does. Um, but I do like, you know, the form that we've got of Garchomp way better. Uh, and then we got a few more that are not much different. Uh, and then we get over here uh, to Hippopotus and Hippowdon. So, yeah, it just looks like a brown hippo. Uh, there's nothing really intriguing about Hippo... Uh, I can never pronounce it. Hippopotus? But anyway, Hippowdon, look at this thing. I mean, you've got some of the similar ideas. You know, sand coming out of its little um, back right there. Its mouth wide open. Uh, it's a different color. Um... It's, yeah, and its mouth has got like a blue color to it. Yeah, I think that's pretty interesting how uh, this Pokemon is like totally different color-wise. Uh, as we go along, though, you're going to find some Pokemon that look totally different, just like Derp Chomp. Uh, here we have Carnivine. Um, it's got a lot of the same designs as its final form. It's just Microsoft painted. Um, I think eyes are a little off if i remember right its eyes are like yeah i don't all right so here we have a uh, luminion and uh can finion and luminion which look totally different this this actually i think i would have went with this one uh luminion is a pokemon that's like memed for how how um unintriguing it is it's just so boring as a pokemon it looks just like a a fish if this was the luminion we got that this would actually be a lot cooler uh you could you know the little fins could have neon on it um you know it's a black fish that has neon stripes i think that would have been cooler if they went with that but they went with you know generic fish uh, here we continue a little bit more um and a lot of them are the same uh just skip snover but yeah snover looks totally different um it's totally different. Its eyes are like angry instead of, you know, derpy eyes. Uh, but Obama Snow, uh, that looks <clears throat> crazy different right there. Uh, this thing, I guess it's like lifting its leg there, as you see. It's like getting ready to stomp the ground. Um, yeah, th this thing looks totally different. Um, as we continue, we've got some more of the same design. Uh, Licky Licky here I want to stop at because you see up here it's got its final design. Uh, but you can see uh, hints of an earlier design that they had for Licky Licky. Um, so yeah, this thing looks like it would be a quadruped. Or maybe it's got like little arms, you know, and it just walks around with little stubby legs. But it's got little arms it's on its side maybe. Um, I would assume that that's probably a, qu a quadruped though. And it looks like it's got like a swirl here. So uh, the idea I get from looking at this is like, you know, uh, measuring tape. How you like, you know, you pull the measuring tape and it's got, it's swirled up inside of it. Maybe that's what they were going for. Um, but yeah, I do like that design a little bit better. Um, and we continue on a little bit. A lot of the Pokemon have the same design. Magmortar here looks like he 
Uh, he he got stuck in Microsoft Paint, but it's the same design. And then here we stop at Togekiss. Uh, so Togekiss, uh, if you know, Togekiss looks like a happy Pokemon. Here it looks totally different. Um, almost looks more like an airplane instead of, you know, what we got now. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, Mega's got a different coloring. It's pretty much the same ideas, though, but a different coloring. I do like how the back sprite of the evolutions are still in their Microsoft uh, paint look. I think that's pretty interesting seeing, like, you know, some of the ba the, the ideas. Here, this is Probopass. Um, and this is actually probably my favorite one of these uh, early sprites. Um, it's the same Pokemon, but instead of, you know, instead of having them look, looking at, like, a three-quarters stance, it's like it's total profile. This thing is pro. It's got its profile, and that is such a funny-looking thing. Uh, we've got like a profile look for uh, <gasps> Probopass. I think this thing should be a meme. People should be making memes of this Pokemon right here. That is an amazing thing right there. Uh, we've got some more that look pretty much the same. Uh, Rotom here. What did they do to you, Rotom? Um, instead of being like you know an, an interesting little uh, red electrical lightning bolt, it's just a little spark. A blue spark with eyeballs. Um, so I'm glad with what we got with Rotom. Uh, for these, they look totally the same. But I do want to point out the back sprites on these have like little antennas or ribbons uh, that are not present in the final uh, design. So it gives us an idea of uh, what they were going for early on. But here comes one that's like pretty shocking. Uh, Heatran, almost the same. Its head has different coloring. Uh, here's another one that needs to be meme. This is Reggie King. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This They should make a meme of this. I bet you they already have. Um, the meme that I think would go with this one is the, you know, the SpongeBob meme where it's like, I'm about to head out. That's what they should do with this one. That's what they should do with this one. That's too perfect. Um, where is... There, there, my boy. All right, so this is Giratina. It looks nothing like the Giratina that we've got. Um, but that's what it is. That is Giratina. I don't know what's going on with its chin. It's got like a weird sideways mouth. It has no pupils in its eyes. Um, and it's got like a crest here. Don't know what that is. It's got wings, which is pretty interesting. It's got a wing, not wings. <laughs> it's just got one wing. I don't know how it's going to fly like that, but it's going to try. Um, and it's got, like, some gems on its side. Uh, I think that's to, you know, go with the theming of the other previous uh, legendaries. Uh, you have, you know, uh, Dialga for Diamond, Palkia with Pearl. Maybe originally they had Giratina with uh, some sort of gem, and they were trying out different ideas here. Um, before they ended up, you know, thinking, oh, Platinum. Platinum should be the thing that goes with that. Um, we're going to continue. Cresselia's the same. Uh, Manaphy and Fionn are pretty much the same. Darkrai! Now, Darkrai, they did... Poor Darkrai, what'd they do to you, man? Uh, you... Like, Darkrai, usually, you know, you think of, like, a spooky specter-type uh, creature. This thing just looks like he's trying too hard. Um, there's one that I want to get to. Uh, I really want to get to one coming up. Uh, Shaman, uh, instead of, you know, looking all fluffy, it looks bald. Uh, need some of that rope. Oh. All right, here it is. Can you guess who this is? This is Arceus. This is the god Pokemon. This thing is the Pokemon that you're supposed to, you know, revere for its power. But here it is. Look at this thing. It is so goofy looking. Um, but basically, this is the last Pokemon on here. Um, so I just wanted to go through some of these. Give you an idea of what they look like. Give you my thoughts on them. But anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.